Hi, I'm Jeff DeRiso from Beckman Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to schedule a recurring message in Zoho Click. We'll do this by using a scheduled action powered by Zoho's proprietary scripting language called Deluge. These scheduled messages could help bring your team's attention to an important link before a recurring meeting. For example, a monthly sales report, an analytics dashboard, or a list of overdue tasks. Simply set the schedule once, and a message with your important link will be automatically sent to your team channel on a recurring basis. Let me show you how it works. Here we are in Zoho Click. The first thing I want to show you is the concept of a channel. Now, a channel is just a conversation that you can have in Click with multiple users that are invited to the channel. So if you have a one department in your business, for example, you may want to have everybody in one channel. So first I'll show you how to create a channel and we'll create a new one for this tutorial. I'll click the plus sign next to channels here. And we want this one to be personal because this is just for the purposes of the tutorial, but you could also make one within your organization so that everyone in your organization can see it. And you can also make one that's external that you can share with clients. So we want to give our channel a name. Today, we'll just use a tutorial and we can add participants within our organization. That brings up all the users in our organization. We can add as many or as few as we want to. And, but, but for this case, since this is just the tutorial, this will just be me in the channel. We can add a description and we also have this advanced configuration options where we have more options for permissions and who can do what within the channel. So I'll just create the channel for now. Okay. So I'll just send a message to show you what it looks like. So there's my message here. We have a timestamp. So in order to create a scheduled message in our click channel, the first thing we want to do is go to the profile image and you see that the cursor changes to the hand. We'll click on that. And then within this screen, we go to the connectors tab. This tab contains all the unique system information for your channel. So I want to bring your attention to this deluge task here. This is what we're going to use to set, to schedule our message. So deluge is Zoho's proprietary scripting language. And this string of text right here is the line of code that you need to write within the scheduler to create a scheduled message. So what we want to do is copy this. Now that it's copied, we can click out of here, go to our avatar up here, click on that. And now in within my click here, we click bots and tools. And now in this screen, we have an option called schedulers. You can see I have two schedulers created for our organization and we'll create a new one by clicking create scheduler. So now here is where we set the recurring period. So let's say we have a weekly meeting and the meeting is on Monday at 9 a.m. So we want our message to go out on Monday at, let's say, 8.45 a.m. So then 15 minutes before that meeting, this message will be sent to your team channel. So we'll click save and edit code. Okay. Now here we are in our deluge editor screen. And we simply paste it here. Now let's click save and execute just to show how it will work. So now you see in our tutorial chat, it's open here on the side, we've gotten our, our test message has been sent with our scheduler code. And this little icon here shows that it's attached to a scheduler. So everyone will know that the message has been scheduled. So now let's edit the text. So all we'll do is edit what goes in between these quotation marks here. And this is where we would put our link. So what I've done here is just for the sake of example, just pasted the link to the Zoho Projects homepage. But this could be whatever custom link within your Zoho organization that you want it to be. 
So we'll, let's click save and execute one more time. So now you see we've sent out our message and it does have an active link. So this could be a really powerful thing to keep everyone in your click channel on the same page, bring their attention to a specific custom view, a specific report, a specific dashboard. The other thing we can do is within our message, we can tag everyone in the channel. And in the chat window, we just do that by typing at all, and that mentions every participant in the channel. However, in our, in our scheduled deluge task, we have to do it a little bit differently. We have to do open and close, open brackets at participants, close brackets. Now let's click save and execute one more time. And now you see we have our new test message that's gone out and it's mentioned everyone in the channel. So if someone has their notifications set to where they only get a notification when they've been mentioned, this message will trigger that because everyone in the channel is mentioned within the message. So now once we get this message text the way we want it and we make sure the link comes through properly, all we do is click save and our schedule is saved and ready to use it. It didn't take very long, it took just a few minutes and it was very easy. All we did was copy and paste and add our custom text into the message. Now, let me also show you an example of another schedule that I created. So here are the schedules we have in our organization. Here's the one we just created, the test. Now, I wanna quickly show you this one called Check Milestone Threshold. And just to give you an example of what can be done with these schedulers. So in this case, we created a connection between Zoho Projects and Zoho Click. And that connection just authenticates any API calls that we're going to do between applications. So we first created a connection between Click and Projects, and then we wrote this function. And now what this function does here is it checks uh, the budget milestones for all the active projects. And if the actual cost within the budget milestone is greater than 85% of the budget, we add those milestone details to a table row and we insert that table into a message. And the message only gets sent if there are my budget milestones that are above the threshold. So for example, if none of the milestones have crossed the 85% threshold, no message will be sent at all because we have this if condition here in our deluge function. So now I'll show you what this table looks like in our actual team channel. So here we are in our BC team channel and you can see two scheduled messages from me within our team channel. So here's the scheduled message that was sent with the code that I just showed you. Now, obviously we can't show this confidential information, but you see we have columns for the project name, the milestone name, the budgeted cost, and the actual cost. So the actual cost for these four budget milestones has exceeded 85% of the budget. And like I said, if there were no milestones that crossed the threshold, the message wouldn't get sent at all. So this, keeps, this helps keep our team on budget and it checks for it twice a week and always gives us a notification if it finds something. So there's a lot of possibilities there for how you can help your team. Now you do have some other options for automated click messages. Like I said in a previous video, the Deluge scripting language uh, has something called integration tasks. One example of our integration task is one that we use, which is post to channel. We can post to a chat. You can also post to chat as an admin, post to channel as admin, post to bot, post to bot as admin. So we have a lot of options in terms of other integration tasks within Click. So that's how you schedule a recurring message in Zoho Click. It's really as simple as copying and pasting and adding your custom message but it also has the possibility to be a very powerful feature once you start getting more comfortable with using Deluge scripting language. And I would encourage you to learn more about it because it does have a lot of potential to help you automate your business. So I hope you got something out of this video. Please leave any questions you may have in the comments and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.